Hey everybody, Ronaldo Waffman here. We are at the Prenam Open House at the ADJ headquarters, and I am demoing the new Grand VJ 2.3. This is the Grand VJ XT. There's some great new updates. You guys are gonna be the first ones to see it. So let's take a look. So the Grand VJ 2.3 update gives you quite a few new features. Uh, first of all, the most obvious one is support of ClingNet and ArtNet. So it's an ArtNet 3 as well. So with ClingNet, if you guys aren't aware, that allows you to run low resolution video over video, or excuse me, LED panels. So for example, we have this one of the Kling units right here. All it does is connect with Cat5, no dongles, no DMX programming. I plug this into our chaos, it'll automatically see it, and it'll actually show me what the unit looks like. I map it out on the visualizer, and it automatically programs itself based on whatever video that I choose. There's lots of videos on that at gearatfirst.com, so you guys check out the tutorials. For fixtures that don't have ClingNet but have ArtNet support, the 2.3 update of Grand VJ will allow you to run it via ArtNet. Next on the Arceus Grand VJ 2.3 update, we now have 12 layers of video control. So what this means is that instead of traditional eight videos that you have, you've got your 12 videos, you definitely have a lot more flexibility and options. You also have built-in siphon functionality. So beforehand, if you wanted siphon, you had to get the plug in, drag and drop it. It's now built in and you have four individual inputs. So now you can have Virtual DJ, Serato, any siphon enabled device, and it'll automatically import it into Grand VJ, you drag and drop, ready to go. I'll show you right now. I've got Virtual DJ running in the background right here. So we're gonna go ahead and fire up Virtual DJ. I got my siphon server that I just turned on. We're gonna minimize Virtual DJ for now. And we're gonna go into our siphon one, drop it, and there it is right there. Automatically finds it. And I have, you know, a couple of text effects, different things that you can apply on there. Alongside with these amazing new features, there's a plethora of bug fixes, some little tweaks to just make things run a lot easier. If you're familiar with the ArtNet protocol, the great thing about the new ArtNet 3 mapper is you can actually choose the network card that you are on. So if you have multiple network cards, you're no longer trying to match it just right. Easy drag and drop menu much faster, much more responsive, and a lot more new light profiles that have been patched in. And you guys can check that out. Again, check out Archaeos, go on Facebook on their fan page, so search Archaeos. And if you wanna see the tutorials, go to gearitfirst.com. Again, that's gearitfirst.com.